Hey guys, welcome to our video on restaurants around St. Louis. The first restaurant we're going to try is Fitz on Del Mar Loop. The fun thing about Del Mar Loop is that it is a historic area that has a lot of different restaurants that you can try. It has entertainment as well. The fun thing about Fitz is that it is native to St. Louis and it has two restaurants that bottled their own sodas. They don't currently bottle their sodas here at the restaurant on the Del Mar Loop, but they do at their other restaurant. The inside of Fitz's did not have a lot of seating, but it was well worth the wait for the fun experience. The food portions were big enough to share and the root beer floats could be shared with a minimum of four people. This is our root beer float cut in half. And don't forget to grab some individual bottles or a variety pack of the different sodas that they offer before you leave the store. The restaurant we went to next was Mama's on the Hill. Now, the Hill is a really unique area in the city of St. Louis that has a strong Italian heritage. It has 50 blocks of shops and Italian restaurants for you to explore or eat at. Mama's on the Hill is known for its toasted ravioli. Toasted ravioli has kind of a fun story because it's said in the 1940s, a chef, instead of pouring his ravioli into hot water, accidentally poured it into hot oil and toasted it. Instead of throwing it away, they decided to taste it, and the rest is history. Let's check out Mama's. Hill is a very, uh, is a very popular, like we get a lot of tourists on the hill in St. Louis. Very famous Italian food. Home of the toast ravioli. I love the fun of coming in and talking about toast ravioli with people. It's a thing that's famous to St. Louis and the Hill. I think what makes the Hill great is that this, as much as any neighborhood in St. Louis, has stayed very, very true to its roots. It is very uh, mom and pop shop, shop owned. There's about 30 restaurants in a, like a 10 block radius. Most of the homes don't ever go on the open market. Most of the homes are passed down through families or through friends of friends. All the homes are in great repair, you know, it's just, the streets are small, parking's hard, it's just got like, you come in, you sit down, we throw some delicious, you know, food with a bunch of cheese and red sauce on it, right? Like we just throw the cheese and red sauce in. It's just got that homey, kind of home-cooked, like 75 years in the past feel to it. So, and the people who come in, honestly, the people who come in, and I've worked in a lot of Italian restaurants and a lot of restaurants around St. Louis areas. I love the folks who come and visit the Hill, whether they're from out of state, you know, to hear from Texas, whether they're from out of state, you know, or whether they're just from two or three hours away and they make a special day trip to come and visit the zoo or other attractions in St. Louis. So it's a pretty unique spot. And I've had lots of other people from around the country say, I'm from Chicago, this is the best Italian food I've ever had. So. <laughs> we just got done eating at Mama's on the Hill and it was fantastic. Best manicotti I have ever had. If you do come, I recommend getting here early because it can fill up quickly with a long wait. So we just ate at Mama's on the Hill and let me tell you, it was so good. Um, this is the second time we've been to the Hill. Um, we've also been to Zia's. Actually, Mom and Dad have been there three times. Um, but. All I can say is I got this twisted ravioli and it was amazing. And I also ate some of Mandy's manicotti, which was also amazing. And it's really hard for me to find something at an Italian restaurant, but I ordered the uh, meatballs with cheese and sauce over them. They were some of the most delicious meatballs I think I've ever eaten in my life. Spaghetti was good. Dad did not get the spaghetti with the meatball, which I personally thought was a mistake. It was called the Hill of Spaghetti. Anyway, mom generously offered some meatballs, which I think really helped with the dish, even though I didn't try it. Well, we didn't eat at Zia's on this trip. I wanted to mention it because we have eaten here in the past, and it deserves to be mentioned in a place that you should go check out. Great Italian food. After stopping at a restaurant in the hill, you should stop at the Missouri Baking Company to get some delicious pastries and treats. Okay, so we just finished at the Missouri Baking Company. Let me tell you, there's so much, so many different things, and when you walk in, you make sure that you pick a number, because that's how you're going to get called over. And while you're waiting, there's so many different things to look at, and even if you wait a little longer, they're going to put more stuff out. So we were picking stuff, and then we picked more stuff as soon as they put more out. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what we got. So these are little cookies. We got, um, this one's called a ravioli. It's kind of hard to see, but it's cute. We got a chocolate top, a strawberry gooey butter, and then a chocolate biscotti. And then... In here, oh, on the little sticker says Missouri Baking Company, named one of the best. Okay, so we have 
crazy stuff. I'm going to say this one first because I just learned how to say it. It's called Pucha Dadi. It basically looks like a Pop-Tart, but it has like icing and pastry and it has fig inside. So I'm super excited to try it. This one is a, I believe, a peanut roll and then we have a cinnamon roll. Um, we have a cheese danish and a blackberry danish and then of course a chocolate chip cannoli. How can you not get a chocolate chip cannoli when you're on the hill? The next restaurant is not quite as close to the center of St. Louis, but it's about 30 minutes out of your way. It's called Lottawada Creek Southern Grill. I don't know a lot about this restaurant yet, so we'll check it out together, but I have heard that their portions are huge. This restaurant is across the Mississippi River in the state of Illinois. We just finished at Lottawada Creek Southern Grill, and I was astounded by the size of the food platters that came out for dinner. First of all, they give you rolls that are gigantic, and then your meals can be split by probably at least four people. If you want to try this restaurant, you'll have to come to this location because it is the only one around. So for lunch, we're going to a restaurant called Salt and Smoke. It is a barbecue restaurant here in St. Louis. Don't know much about it yet, but we're going to go check it out and see how good it is. So the barbecue place, the salt and smoke smoke barbecue place, was a really good choice for lunch. It was kind of um, spur of the moment because the restaurant we had picked out, we decided, uh, or it was closed. And so we went to this one restaurant near the stadium. It had a decent amount of seating, but it was really quick service and the food was really good as well. So if you're in St. Louis, check that one out. dinner we're here at Pie Pizzeria. This is a restaurant we come to almost every time we come even through St. Louis. We love eating here. It has deep dish pizza but it is not Chicago style deep dish pizza. It has a cornmeal crust instead of your normal crust that you would get in Chicago. So it's a little bit different style but still just as good. We just finished at Pie Pizzeria. It was good. Um, I was a little disappointed this location did not have the fantastic roasted vegetables that we get at the other locations. But an interesting fact about Pie that you may not know is they are in the St. Louis area. You can't really find them um, other places except for one place which is in Washington DC. They do have one. This location is also a little different because it has a Mexican restaurant inside as well as Pie Pizzeria so you could get both. But I recommend the deep dish pizza. So for lunch today, we're trying a place called Stack. It is a build your own burger restaurant, but I think there's other things on the menu as well. This was not where we were going to come to first. We were gonna try Gus's pretzels, but we found out they're closed today. So we're gonna give this place a try. I think it'll be a good choice. So let's go check it out. So at Stack, we enjoyed uh, some of the items that we got. There were some that we thought were kind of just okay. Um, one of the neat things about the restaurant was that they had a pad of paper there along with pencils that you could literally build your own burger. So almost anybody could go and find something that they liked if you enjoy burgers. It's not a huge restaurant so there may be a little bit of a wait, but it had fun aesthetics and we had a pleasant time eating there. Thanks for watching me share with you these restaurants that we went to visit on our St. Louis trip. I hope you get to try some of these and enjoy them just like we did. We are going one more place tonight, but it is a restaurant previously mentioned in the videos. We are going to go back to Mama's because we loved it that much and we're going to go back a second time. Enjoy your trip to St. Louis and I'll see you next time. Oh, it's shaped. One moment. It's called Lottawato's Southern... It's called Lottawada's... Okay, so for lunch today, we are trying a place called... Stacked. What? Stacked. 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 Yeah. So after... Uh, what was it called? Stacked? Stacked. St. Louis.